Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. In the video about precise altitude measurements, I said that the GPS receiver was not very precise compared to the pressure sensor and I promised a test of GPS receivers. Now I got the newest Ublox GPS receiver, the NEO M8, in the mail and I compared it with its predecessor, the NEO 6M. In between the two was the NEO 7 series. They were not very often used in the hobby community and are now advertised as low cost and low energy consumption. I need precision. This is why I did not test the Series 7 module. As with the pressure sensors, I compared the two sensors in one position. This is easier because I do not need to know the exact position of the sensor. But it is sufficient for my purpose because I need exact relative data. And this is exactly what I get if I leave the sensor at one spot. The actual GPS sensors have a lot of possible configurations. I use the profile which is proposed by the manufacturer for my purpose. I used the pedestrian profile. For my bicycle power meter, this profile fits best. There is a good YouTube video on choosing all the configurations, so I do not need to repeat it here. I include a link in the comment. To work with the modules, the manufacturer provides a free software. This software can be used to change the configuration as well as reading the results of the modules. I put the download link also into the comments. The software is called UCenter. To use the modules together with this program, you have to connect your GPS module to a serial to USB converter and plug this converter into your PC. Keep in mind that the modules are 3.3 volt. I use serial to USB converters, which can be changed from 5 volt to 3.3 volt. This is very handy for such applications. As usual, you have to connect the RX pin of the serial converter to the TX pin of the GPS and vice versa. In the first test, I measured the horizontal precision. This is not needed for my purpose, but I think many of you guys are also interested in these results. The conditions were not optimal. The weather was absolutely clear but the sensor was placed near a house. So satellites in one direction were not visible to the sensor. Both sensors were placed exactly at the same place and the conditions were exact, exactly the same. The only difference was the time I did the two tests one after the other. First, you see the startup of the NEO 6 module. It has six satellites to calculate its position. All satellites belong to the American system. This is because the NEO 6 can only receive these satellites. Every second the position is measured and put into the drawing. The result after a few minutes shows deviations in the range of 8 meters. Most of the measurements were in the 6 meter range. Now we start the newer NEO 8 module. It sees more satellites because it can also receive signals from the Russian system. The precision seems to be quite different to the NEO 6 module. It seems to be much better. To be sure, I checked the results one day later. First, we see the result of the NEO 6 module. It is better than the day before. And the result of the NEO 8 is worse than yesterday. I made some more tests and found no big difference between the two modules. The difference in precision was more a result of time than a result of different technology of the module. I also changed the antennas between the modules. This had also no influence on the precision. 
This is if good conditions exist. The NEO 8 module always had more satellites in view because it was capable to use two to three Russian satellites. This is true for Switzerland and might be different in other places of the world. The NEO 8 should also be capable to track Chinese and European satellites when they become available. This means that in bad conditions, the NEO 8 should have an advantage over the NEO 6. The overall precision is for both modules well below 10 meters. This is what we expect if we compare it with our car GPS systems. Now we move on to the altitude measurement. The U-Center software can also display altitude above sea level. Here we see the results of the NEO 6 module over about 30 minutes. We see that the altitude is sometimes quite stable and suddenly it has steep slopes. The fluctuation is around 10 meters. So the precision is far worse than the precision of the pressure sensor BME 280. Its precision was in the 10 centimeters range. The same thing applies also for the NEO 8. For both sensors, the horizontal precision during the altitude measurements were very precise. So the bad results in the altitude measurement were not because of a lack of satellites. As a summary, I found that under good conditions, the NEO 6 and the NEO 8 do not deliver very different precision. The precision depends more on the constellation of the satellites. The relative precision of the altitude measurement is factors worse than the precision of a pressure sensor. So it is clear for me that I will use a pressure sensor to measure the altitude component in my bicycle power meter. During my tests, I discovered a major problem of the NEO 8 module. It does not work at all with the well-known Tiny GPS Plus library. After some investigations, I found that two strings sent by the NEO 8 are slightly different to the strings sent by the NEO 6 modules. This is why the parser in the library does not decode their values. Fortunately, the solution is not very complicated. You have to add a few items in two areas of the tiny GPS Plus library and the whole thing works again. First, you have to open the tinygpsplus.cpp file in the library folder. In this file, you have to define the two different strings used by the NEO 8 module. Afterwards, you have to include these two constants in the if statements. I include a link to the changed library in the comment. With this change, I used an Arduino DUE to measure altitude and to transfer it directly to an Excel sheet, as described in an earlier video. The link is also in the comments. I used a DUE because it is already on 3.3 volt and it is capable to emulate a keyboard. The results are of course similar to the results obtained with the manufacturer's software. I hope this video was interesting or useful for you. Bye!